In this video, I will share with you five ways you are chasing him unintentionally. Hello, my name is Greta Berishita. I'm dating and relationship coach for women. For the awesome high value women secrets, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I upload new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. Just before I will share with you those five ways that you could be chasing him unintentionally, don't forget to take my free self-awareness test to find out are you behaving as a high value or a low value woman and you will find that test in my video description box below. Also ladies, I nearly forgot I have an incredible ebook for sale which is called Devoted Relationships and you can get that ebook on my website gretabrishita.com. I literally put all I've got into it. It's very fresh new content and I would really highly recommend you to get it. So my ladies, without further ado, you are chasing him unintentionally if you are constantly looking at him in a way that it becomes a form of gazing. You know, like gazing at someone for a bit longer because you think they are cute. Ladies, when you gaze a man or you stare at him by checking him out, he can feel it same as you can feel when a guy checks you out. However, when a man checks you out, well, it's fine because he is the pursuer and you're the lady, right? But if you do it, well, it's not great because then you are copying his masculine behavior and pursuing him. Number two, every single time he posts on his social media, you are there to support him, comment, like, or mark your territory. Or perhaps you even tag him in your posts. You watch his every story, you know, you take the hint, etc. Right? Maybe you even announce to the whole world your love for him via social media posts. Ladies, this is a form of pursuing also. As you are showing high interest and behaving masculine by marking your territory like this. Saying that, of course, if you are in a loving relationship, you can be there for each other on social media too. That's all fine as long as it's not too much. The key is just definitely don't do it in the beginning stages, as not only as it can be a put off, it can also come across desperate. Anyways, ladies, the best relationships are the ones that are off social media anyway. Number three, keeping him on a call by extending the conversation is pursuing a guy. For example, when he calls you or you call him and he says that he has to go, but you say, no, I miss you so much, stay just a little bit longer. Perhaps you keep asking him questions, so he would just be there on the other line for you. Ladies, this is pursuing also, and trust me, he will notice. And you might say, well, what's wrong with that? Well, ladies, nothing is wrong if it happens once in a blue moon from your side. Plus, it can even be considered cute. But if it's like this all the time, soon he will get bored and will start to see you as needy or clingy and will get put off. Number four, buying him little gifts, splitting the bill, paying for the bill, sweeping him off his feet by giving him a huge birthday parties with expensive presents and homemade cakes by your parents. Again, if you are in a stable, happy relationship or marriage where this is how you guys just do things for everyone's birthday, and you know that he loves you and adores every single part of you because he constantly sweeps you off your feet by his huge generosity anyway, 
it's fine then, right? You should give a bit here and there, and giving him a little party with a nice presence, it's all good. He is the main pursuer here in general speaking, right? However, if the relationship just started or you are experiencing troubles in your marriage, going out of your way to please him or fix things by pursuing him like this will not fix it. It will ruin it. Why? Because this is a masculine behavior. If you want to fix your relationship, you need to focus on the problems that you are having and try and find solutions for those problems, rather than pursuing him by sweeping him off his feet, which masculine men actually find very cringe. And here comes the number five, and it is moving to his country to live with him is pursuing a guy. For example, if you are dating long distance and you are thinking that moving closer to him will make the relationship better, don't. Not only that it's pursuing, it's also your idea, so it's like a double pursuit. It's you going to a man from your own initiative. It's you being a prince and him being the princess in this castle. Don't do it. As the Bible says, it's a man that finds his wife, not the other way around. Remember it, it's very important. But now, what if he asks you to move to him? Well, if you agree, you are actually still being the prince, putting your own life on a hold and going to him. So I would still not recommend that. Ladies, unless you're married, don't go anywhere. You would not feel the need to move if you were single, for example, and he wasn't in the picture. So ladies, these are my five ways that you could be pursuing him unintentionally. If you liked this video, please press like. Let me know in the comments below what did you think. Join Greta's High Value Women School where we are all in the same boat learning how to be women of high value and bring out the best in our men. Follow me on my Instagram. My Instagram is called Ladies Relationship Coach. And for one-on-one -on -one group coaching with me or a member of my team, book me through my website, gretaberishita.com. Also, ladies, I have an incredible package for sale, which is called High Value Women Package. And I put all I got into it, everything about what is a woman of high value, high value woman habits, behaviors, games men play, emotional control, boundaries, how to be a challenge for a man, all that jazz. You can get that package on my website gratabirishita.com and I'll put a link in my video description box below on where exactly you can get it. Ladies, thank you so much for watching. Kisses from London, from the heart of London actually, uh, Mayfair.